everybody, it's Dr. Emily here from the Evidence-Based Fitness Academy. I want to take a few minutes to speak to you about foot function and fascia lines, particularly as it relates to the bottom of the foot. Now, a big thing as far as optimal function and how we relate to the ground is how quickly can your foot get off of the ground. Your ability to get off of the ground and decrease contact time is related to how quickly you can stabilize, lock, and prepare that lever of the foot for there for getting off the ground. This is deeply integrated within our fascia lines and we're gonna take a closer look at the bottom of the foot or the plantar foot, which actually consists of four plantar layers. So the bottom of the foot is uniquely designed and fascially integrated for function. Now, when we look at foot function, the ability to lock and get off of the ground happens within milliseconds which means that very rapid foot function cannot rely on just muscle activation. We need to look at connective tissue that is much faster, which is specifically our fascia. So the bottom of the foot, four plantar layers. We have the first plantar layer, which is the layer of the foot that you can actually palpate. So this would be your abductor hallucis, your abductor digiti quinti. Again, a lot of the muscles you can palpate. If we go deeper into the foot, you have your second plantar layer, you have your third plantar layer, and then the layer that we want to focus on is going to be our fourth plantar layer. Now there are three muscles or three connective tissue that you find within the fourth layer of the bottom of the foot. You'll find your posterior tibialis, your peroneus longus, and your interossei. These three muscles happen to be the exact ones that we need to rapidly lock stabilize and prepare our lever to get off of the ground. So again, we have posterior tibialis, peroneus longus, and interossei. Those are the three muscles you wanna go after for optimal push-off. Posterior tibialis, this is going to be our deep front line, inserting onto the navicular, and then fanning out to have nine attachments with one of its attachments onto our peroneus longus. So you have a fascial crossing between the posterior tibialis, deep front line, and the peroneus longus, which is going to be both the spiral line and the lateral line. Now your posterior tibialis inserts onto the base of the first metatarsal, which means that it plantar flexes the first ray. Now in order to get over your big toe, you must be able to plantar flex your first ray. I know Big toe mobility, dorsiflexion of the first MPJ, huge topic now. We're trying to optimize it and get people to maximize that dorsiflexion. You must consider the first ray. If you do not optimize first ray stability, your clients will not be able to get off of the ground quickly. Third muscle here is our interossei. Now these are intrinsic muscles that originate on the peroneus longus tendon. So there's a deep integration between peroneus longus first ray stability and interossei activation, which prepares the entire lever or MPJs one through five. Our ability to create that rigid lever within the foot optimizes push off position. Now again, this is deeply integrated within the fourth layer of the bottom of the foot. Understanding how fascial connections link to function can optimize patient results, athlete performance, and of course, client results. To learn more about foot function and fascia lines, please check out ebfafitness.com or of course, attend one of our Barefoot Training Specialist certifications. Stay barefoot strong.